If you're looking to get liposuction, there are some important things you need to know before you go under the knife. Dr. Raymond Wolf is here with some tips for you to consider before surgery day. Welcome back, Dr. Wolf. Thank you. It's glad to be here. Uh, and if you've eaten too many Sundays, I do have your solution. Uh -oh. <laughs> or you should stop eating all those Sundays. Well, not all of them. Not all of them. <laughs> not all of them. Just you know, too many of them. Right. So, Dr. Wolf, liposuction is an increasingly popular procedure. It is. And unfortunately, you're getting a lot of folks coming in brand new to liposuction, but you're also seeing folks coming to you for corrective surgery from botched jobs. So, what do folks need to know out there? Number one, to make sure they're a prime candidate for this sure. procedure. Most individuals that select uh, liposuction and cosmetic surgery mm -hmm. are healthy enough for liposuction. Uh, those that are not uh, we check with their care practitioner to make sure their cardiologist or whatever to make sure they're uh, stable for surgery. One of the things that we do do though is everybody regardless of age undergoes what we call pre-admission therapy. Mm -hmm. It's not really admission but we check EKG, blood work, chemistries, of course pregnancy tests mm -hmm. and things of that nature. And what we find is that even if the individual is young they may have a calcium problem, they may have a potassium problem, they may have a severe anemia, which is important to know prior to surgery so that you can correct it and not have a complication during your surgery. Right. Uh, cosmetic surgery is, is something by your choice. It's not like having a bypass in the hospital where mm -hmm. you're going to be bypassed regardless of your health. Right. So the standard for our practice is that everybody has a physical, we review their past history, and make sure that they're biochemically ready to have, to the, have the surgery. surgery. All right, yes. we're, we're seeing some photos now of some popular areas to have yes. liposuction on. Yes. The tummy and the arms. Tell Correct. us about these areas, doctor. Uh, the, the upper and lower abdominal areas is probably one of the most common areas mm -hmm. uh, to have done, along with the flanks, which is uh, above the hips. Those are the most common areas. The also arms. The muffin top. Uh, yes, if you wear too <laughs> tight a pant and you push it upwards, we yes. we we demuff we demuffinize. <laughs> uh, so arms, upper abdomen, flanks mm -hmm. are very common. We do a lot of facial work as well for jowls and neck, oftentimes combined with a facelift. Mm -hmm. um, medial thighs, lateral thighs, or the terrible name, saddle bag. Uh, removing saddle bags is another area. This is the back part where we have both. Thoracic, you can see the upper part, and then flank. You can't just do the flank, otherwise you're left with back bulges. Right. So as you can see, you now have a complete contour from where the bra is all the way down to where the superior buttock right. is. And that's what sculpts and gives you the flow. The that's absolutely it. Gotcha. This is sculpting. Right. Uh, so even though this is a popular procedure, this is not where you want to pinch pennies, right, Dr. Wolf? Uh, you pay for what you, what get. you get. Where can they find you on that note? Uh, 839 4681 mm -hmm. or advancedthera.com on the web. We actually have videos and things of that nature on there that they can educate themselves about liposuction. And one of the most important things that we found is that there have been uh, shortcuts out there. Mm -hmm. And a compressive garment and compressive uh, absorbent pads mm -hmm. is standard for liposuction. As taught by Jeffrey Klein, who created tumescent liposuction and was my trainer, that is an important post-operative right. thing as well. Right. So it does not make up for bad liposuction, but it provides the proper drainage and compression so that the body can contract right. and get back to where it needs to be after the surgery. All right, well, Dr. Wolf, you are the expert, and that was rwolf.net for more information. Yeah, uh, actually, no, advancedthera.com. Okay, there we That's go. That's an old website. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, thank Dr. Thank you.